Stav, Abby and Matt, the B105 Breakfast Show. Hello, podcasters. Hello. Hi. OMG. How are you feeling about your new present that we will reveal later on in the show, Matthew? Oh, it's ecstatic. Ecstatic. Really happy mm. and grateful and... Don't want, to, um, don't want to give too much away, but technically, Abby, you're an organ donor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Where was that live? Uh, <laughs> well, it's here now. Mm. That's all the matter. Okay, yeah. I think it was yeah. all right that you no. didn't say it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, My so grandfather used to play the organ. It is quite an instrument. The pipe organ, one of those ones. Or, yeah. yeah, we well, had a big one in his house, mm. but it was just huge. Mm. Like they don't sound pleasant. It, no. They always sound like a horror movie. <laughs> yeah. mm. I used to sit next to him and he used to play the organ. Mm. And I used to clap, so I used to get cash. <laughs> and my brothers used to come and go, why do we not get cash? I'm like, because you've got to pretend you like it. Hmm. Clap for cash. <coughs> yeah. There you go. Mm. Uh, yeah, there's a bit going on today, so stand by for that, everyone. All we can say is be, be riding the volume dial. Uh, was uh, it too loud, was it? Probably has headphones. Yes. I am a jaw yours. It didn't come with headphones. Is there a headphone jack? I bet you there would be because monsters don't make them. Yeah, there would be. Oh, yes. I'm no. here for you. You're a good man. Yep. All right. Good to know. Yeah. She's she's now breaking it so it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Pull that out. Yeah. Uh, you can't just shove things into a hole and expect it to work. Oh, Want to make a bet? <laughs> well, I didn't. Want to so... make a bet? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here is today's podcast. The B105 <laughs> Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. Hit me with your love shot. Mug shot. <laughs> or just hot. That's hot. That's hot. There are people in jail looking for love as well. I uh, got a notification even from my Facebook group that we joined. I think we all joined it together, uh-huh. which is uh, when Australian uh, criminals are looking for pen pals. Mm-hmm. Mm. Did we not join no. that together? Just me. Okay. Just you. Just you. And it's quite interesting because in there they will state uh, no crimes against children or women. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. So they're the ones that you, and if they, I guess if they don't mention that. You know. Well, they don't go up there. And it's always friends posting on their behalf. So right, they right, can't right. message right. on the Facebook. But they're like, here, I was in um, I was in lockup with this guy. He's really nice. Voucher and being awesome. He's looking for a pen pal. Right. And when they say pen pal, are they all, they're all generally looking for romantic pen pals, not just someone to... I think they'll take whatever they can get. Yeah. But uh, often they like it from the women if they're men and vice versa. Fair mm-hmm. enough. Whatever they're into. I guess, it. you know, something different to what you're used to yeah. on a day-to-day basis. Yes. You're locked up with blokes all day long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. Hey, so we've got some photos. Yeah. These are people that are looking for love, okay? Yeah. But are they in jail or are they not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because these ones, their their pen pal applications sound like a dating. Well, they are pro- dating. Yeah. Yeah. They are yeah. looking for yeah. love. Yeah. Right, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So the first one we have is, uh, do you have Kareen? Yeah, Kareen, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kareen, yeah. Kareen looks gorgeous. Yeah, she is. I'm going to guess, just reading ahead here, I'm going to guess that she is not in jail because she says... In my spare time, and then in brackets says, which I don't get much of these days. And I would just assume that if you are in prison, you do tend to have a lot of spare time. Oh, what a detective you are. You know? She's looking for a traditional Christian man who's honest and trustworthy. Mm. No, those eyes have murdered someone, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. if you, if you that see that this can photo, be said of most women. The way, the way she's <laughs> looking down the camera is like, Love me or die. So oh, I, I believe she's in prison. She could be, actually, because she says, I enjoy music, the ocean, tunnelling my way out of my cell no, at night. No, come on. Which, like, what are you looking in, then? <laughs> I'm saying she is not in prison. Oh, then, Stav, you are correct. Hey. Oh, look at those eyes. Those eyes are just like, I want to kill you with but that, kindness. That, that's only because the court case isn't finished. No, yeah. that's so. not true. How, what about Connor? <laughs> oh, Connor. Connor's 28 years of age. He's a Virgo. Read us through what Connor has said there. He'd love to meet someone to travel around and explore new cultures and see different places together. He's a personal trainer, so he's really into health, nutrition and fitness. Can't have too much sun because he's a beautiful redhead. Oh, he plays a guitar. Yeah. He reads a lot. Uh Uh-huh. And he hopes to be a published author one day. Oh, My Life in Prison is the name of his book. (laughs) If he's, I mean, when he says personal trainer, maybe he just works in the yard with the lads. Yeah. Um... He's got I, sunglasses on with his. He's kind of like so kicking see him. back there. Okay. What uh, do you think? In jail or not? He is free as a bird. No, he's in jail. <laughs> he's in jail. Oh. He was intoxicated, caused a two car vehicle crash, and mm-hmm. his 18 year old passenger sadly passed away. Oh. 
Mm. He's very much speaking like he is out, though. Yeah, well, he? I'd like to meet someone to travel around with. Do you want one or two more? Two. Two more? Yeah, why not? All right, let's go to Fatima. She is a Libra. She's 29 years of age. Uh-huh. Her time really is um, cutting short because she's yet to find someone to have a strong connection with. Ugh. Oh, she's ambitious as well. I her like time's her. cutting short. Is she on death row? Because she's only <laughs> 29 years old. <laughs> so I'm going to say she's in prison. Uh, <laughs> Please. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, I have long brown hair, brown eyes, a big chest, little waist. Yeah. Thick in all the right places. I reckon she's in jail because the last line says, I got lucky, I'm beautiful inside. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Thick in all the right places. Yeah, I she's, can, she's locked up. She considers herself bi, so could be. I'm going to say she is in jail. Yeah, she's in jail. Her yeah. and her brother and her boyfriend tried to rob someone at gunpoint. Ooh. The person uh, fought back, so the boyfriend shot him. Ooh. And the state's actually seeking the death penalty, so her and her brother testified against the boyfriend to save themselves. Wow. So she is on death row. She was, but then she... She well, saved I mean, herself by dobbing in the boyfriend. Oh, right. See what I mean? Yeah. No right. strings attached. <laughs> mm. But she's thick in all the right places. You're not going to get to enjoy the thickness if no. she's in there for life. The, oh, last one. Bell. Yeah, last one's Bell. Yeah. She's written, and I do like this, you know. Hi there. Unfortunately, I can't start conversation. Message me first, please. <laughs> she's genuine and honest, strong minded, independent, self sufficient, and free spirit. The, the photo looks like she's in prison. It, she looks like she's wasted in the photo. Uh, uh. Nah, she's out. She hasn't been caught with the crack yet. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like how it was supposed to be, are they in prison or not? And everyone we've done so far is either in prison or going to prison. Um, I think she's in prison too. She says she's a free spirit, but that's, I think that's the only thing that's free about her. She's out and ready to date. Ooh. She scared. was never in prison, Matthew. Hey? She was never in prison. Yet. Yet. Oh, <laughs> the B105 <laughs> Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. I always want to be good at instruments. That and languages. And I am so bad. <laughs> so bad. Even so much as I was learning the flute at school, mm-hmm. went on to band camp. Playing the flute, <laughs> and that's where you fell uh, fell over. You were no good at that. No, I no, think, no. Yeah. But I started later Play, playing and, the flute and playing with the flute. flute two yeah. Anyway, it doesn't I love just, that there is a section of society who gets that, and then no, others who don't. Anyway, one of the so I was playing the flute on band camp, and my friends had started uh, quite early, uh, and I was yeah. late uh, to the group, and I was so bad, even though I had privates, that they asked me, "Would I kindly pretend that I was playing?" Can you mind the flute? Yes, I am very good at miming the flute. Yeah, Did you okay. want it? You got to do the lips. <laughs> Didn't you get asked to mime and choir yeah. as well? Anyway, so that's what I'm saying. Move I'm just, I, I really wanted to be good at it and I wasn't. So if any of my kids show any interest in music, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. no, yeah. that's yes, good. Yes, definitely. Yes, mm. forced my son to play violin. Mm. He's very, very good at it. Yep. Doesn't like it. He needs to work on his facial expressions you know he while he me? plays. He goes, do you know how hard it is? Do you mm. know how hard it is each week going to the lesson and lying to the lovely teacher about <laughs> practicing at home. I said, yeah. I wonder how you could get around that. Don't tell her. No. <laughs> yeah. Practice. Anyway. <laughs> but this is setting him up for life. It's the same as when you go to the dentist. You're like, yeah, I've lost the last six months. been yeah. flossing every yeah. day. That's, yeah. that's You life. do that morning, so <laughs> yeah. not a lie. When was the last know? time you flossed? You would know you yeah, were here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, <laughs> I had a little glimmer of hope as we went to go and see my, uh, my 93-year-old Nana in the nursing home and she has dementia so she said you're very good at the piano because she thought that I was her sister her older sister by the way either that she's got dementia or she's got a wicked sense of humour so she said (laughs) (laughs) said, she's like jump on the piano and I was like of course no worries I'll play and as I walked off I was like I will leave your other sibling there which was my little son to play. So he yeah. was playing the piano. I was like, oh, my God, he loves it. He loves it. We should get you a keyboard. He's like, yeah, I should get a keyboard. Mm-hmm. So I bought a keyboard on Amazon. It was taking too long to come. I returned it and got one from Maya. When I was returning it, they both rocked up at the same time. And I was like, oh, I thought I returned ah. it, but it didn't. And then I went to go and refund it. It wouldn't let me. Anyway, it's been a bit of a disaster. I've got two keyboards that I've bought. And I really want one to go to a good home. And I was trying to think who would enjoy it as much as my five-year-old. Mm. And I thought, Edie. My Eden? Yes. Wouldn't she like a keyboard? I'm not willing to ask and find out. Uh, Can she you call need her? It. She's, she's shown absolutely zero interest That's in That's because she hasn't had one. Uh-huh. That's because she hasn't had one. But you because... have this one. And it's, it's good. I'll do a little demo for you. Oh, God. And it's got a microphone. The microphone's not working. 
and microphones not working. Well, there is, there's, there's a win. A, there's no, no, a it bonus. does. It just has too much feedback for the radio. We'll plug it in. Don't be silly. It'll okay. be fine. Plug it, plug it it's in. not going to sound good. So, look, it, the whole thing doesn't sound good, but that's the demo model. It's pretty loud. And then he like gets on the little mic and he's like, hello, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up, and then plays. I, I, I think it's very sweet of you to mm. think of. Hello, 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 what's up? What's Give up, Buxley? On the keyboard! Oh, yeah, I'd break that. That'd be broken. Um, That sounds like a bath toy. <laughs> <laughs> As in you're going to throw it in the bath when yeah. you get home? <laughs> Anything noisy that comes into our house yeah. from the people who hate me... I can't hear. Um, <laughs> ...ends up going in the bath. I don't, okay. I don't want that in my house. No one wants that in their house. You don't like it, do you? I know That's who, what makes me like it even more. I know our listeners don't like it. Can we turn that off, please? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, that's so loud. Are you going to take it home for her? No, thank you. Rory will have it. You, she'll have it. She can have it. Do you want it? You don't want it. She'll uh, love it. You don't want it. Don't have it then. You don't have to have it. Oh no! Now we're doing this, are we? No, no, yeah. no, no, no. no. If you don't want it, I feel bad. I pre- it's it's a very lovely gesture. Uh huh. Yeah. That you would get that for my daughter, and it's very kind of you because it looks expensive. It is. So you could resell it it's if you really it, want it. It's got its own. Oh. It's got. Its oh, own now stand, you like it. it. Now you like it. <laughs> I just I just don't know if it's something that Eden would want. Oh well. Hey Esther, or yeah. is that? Hey, is Eden there? Can you ask her? Does she want a brand new keyboard? Taylor Swift. No, she doesn't. You got to practice to like Taylor Swift. Remember? She's saying that I have to speak. Oh, okay. You speak on her behalf. That's fine. You ask her if she wants a keyboard. Do you? Did you hear it before? You want a keyboard? Yes, she's got a very big smile on her yeah, face. There you go. And she's nodding her head. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. And that's the quietest she'll be from this moment forth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I was going to actually answer and say no. I was going to say, how do you feel about it? She yeah. Heard it. She heard it on the radio. Uh. She was, And she got the biggest smile on her face because I looked in the rear vision mirror. Yeah. Oh, my God. You and, and Cola like, can do yeah. duets. It's going to be so oh. cute. See, I don't mind you noise. Can have a band. Surprise, surprise. Can't kind of hear it over yourself. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Am I talking loudly? <laughs> yeah, I don't I like noisy houses. Mm. I'm I'm not a fan of it. I like yeah, I know. A, I like I know it with not. a neither is my dad, piece. but he it could go through. in a it could go in a cubby house. Oh it could That's go down in the cubby idea. house. There is power or in down the there. Man cave. Yeah, in the, the man, man cave. cave's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have I have two square meters of that whole house yeah. that is dedicated to me. No. No, you don't, Dal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got some fluffy cushions in there. She does. I go to my man cave and she's put fe- like foot puffs and cushions. I'm like, where'd this come that from? That is the least feminine thing in that place, mate. Come on. <laughs> do you like them though? They're comfy. Yeah, they are lovely when you've yeah. had a few beers and you're watching the football. What are you <laughs> <do>? <laughs> see? see? No, I just wanted it to go to use, you know, and I don't like things going to waste. And I just thought someone that is obsessed with Taylor Swift, I thought yeah. that she's yeah. really into her music at the moment. She would love it. She, she. Her and I were wearing ca- um, I, matching boots yesterday. Boots, yes. Yeah, they're look at like us, Adele. It. All I, right. I can't wait for her to be singing loudly and, mm. and playing it at the same time. It's going to be amazing. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you're Daddy, welcome. Daddy will bring it home this <laughs> oh, afternoon, don't, don't baby. Do that. Don't take credit for it. I'm not. She knows you gave it to her. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say I bought it for her. I said, I'm bringing it home. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Arnie yeah. Abbey got it, though, okay? She's nodding. She knows she yeah, has a lot to on the radio. It becomes mute. Yeah. yeah. It becomes mute when the radio is mentioned. On the way home, just grab one of those little ones. <laughs> Get a little quiet one. I want to ask this though. If this is what aunties and uncles and yeah. grandparents say, do they buy stuff? They don't go, is it okay if I buy this for you? No. They go, look what I've got. I know. And then I'm they the worst. bring it out in front of the child. Yeah, it's like my little nieces and nephews, and they're like, are we allowed to get a Coca Cola? I'm like, do your parents let you? And they're like, no. I'm like, yeah, of yeah, course, of course you, are. you are. And my kids go, can I get one? I go, no, no. you're not having caffeine. Don't be silly. <laughs> 13, 10, 60. When has someone done this to you? The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. I bought a keyboard. Well, I got a keyboard for Eden because I thought that she would like it. And yeah, I'll have to admit there's probably a little bit more of me thought of giving it to you because I know how much you will hate it. And that brings me so much joy because I know, I don't know why every man just likes... Peace and quiet. Peace and quiet. (laughs) But why don't you guys just live by yourself then? That's what I'm saying. Why? Why do you start a family? 
because you we like other stuff just as much. <laughs> no, as peace I and think quiet. you just like peace and quiet. And then once you do get peace and quiet, my dad was like, "Oh, it's quite lonely at home." I'm like, "Yeah, but then when everyone comes back, you go, oh, it's a bit noisy." Is it just that you like to have what you don't have? <laughs> Well, I don't know. We can't be explained. No. <laughs> what we so don't like is a Casio keyboard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is not a Casio. 50. You'd wash your mouth out. That it's a better than that. It's a really. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll so, give you well, a bit of a demo. Oh Once god. Again. Well, you don't want a demo. We'd love a demo. Okay. You're actually pretty good. <laughs> Um, do you want it in the background or do you want me to turn no, it off? No, turn that should off. Probably, turn, probably turn it, turn it yeah, off. That's going to be landfill Thanks for coming, soon. guys. Mm. Give to... me 10. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, you know what? This could be the beginning of our origin story where she becomes one of the greatest musicians the world's ever seen. I know. So. I mean, I did buy her a, uh, a Lions outfit hoping that she would be an yeah. AFLW star, but mm. she's grown out of that now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so <laughs> we are asking, do you have that person in your life who buys things for your children without your permission. Just to annoy you. Mm-hmm. Ron, in Bold Hill, what was the present that was bought? Uh, a drum kit. Oh, How good. Who worst. bought it? Uh, my mother bought it for my son when he was about oh, probably two to three. Oh, God. I think it lasted two days in my house and then it went back to her house and was quietly hidden. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bet she, that brought her so much joy for those two days, though. Oh, yes, it did. Mm. So the next time um, she had the babysit, oh, I filled him full of sugar. So. Oh. Uh, <laughs> nice. And said, remember, the, gr- the drum kit's at Gran's house. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mine's, uh, mine was, a, it's not a real big one, but um, I, I'd curse the people that do, do this, and a lot of parents would agree with me, the Furbies. Oh. Oh, is that the one that you put in the bath? Put in the bath. Didn't you put it in the bath no, to shush I, it? I hit it, and it kept on talking oh. from the cupboard. Was that you that That's tried creepy. to drown the Furby? Up. Uh, not a Furby, but I am quite. I, when right. kids have noisy things, I encourage them to play in the bathroom. <laughs> well, that electrocute your children. I guess that makes it even quieter. <laughs> no, if it's a little battery one. It's, yeah, it's, it's just battery. a tingle. <laughs> Is the Furby the one that if it's if you walk past yep. it, so it scares it the crap out of you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you can't even put them to sleep. You, uh, you can even like you can take the batteries out. I think they're possessed with Satan. So <laughs> I'll just keep on. Okay. Yeah, I'll just keep on talking. Anna in Underwood, what present did uh, someone get your kids that was annoying? Uh, goldfish with a whole tank. <gasps> oh, yes. everything. Yeah, you think that's fine, and then because Rory wanted fish, and then you got to clean it every six months. You've Got to get the pH balance. Yeah, right. Yeah, my mum bought goldfish for yeah, the that's kids, right. and they yeah. just didn't. They never. They never they died. died. No. They, even to no. the point they started oh, no, calling the fish. I died. I died after two months. We tried to look after them uh, and researched, and then they didn't last very long. Uh, and then it was a whole cycle after that. We spent. So much money on so many goldfish after uh, that, and then uh, eventually just gave up. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that happens. Because then you've got to go through that thing of then explaining death to the children. I think too. if you mm. give an animal to someone, like mm. a pet, without asking the parents, that's worse than a keyboard. Yeah, I'd agree way with worse. That. Yeah. yeah, so stand by so for lucky. the pony. <laughs> <laughs> Your backyard could you could keep an a big animal in that backyard. I'd prefer not to. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. You could pay, charge kids for rides, make money. Yeah, that's true. Xander yeah. wants a dog. No, he doesn't. He's off that now. Oh. He Is he? Can we he get Xander them. on no, the phone? Mary Ann, why did someone yeah. buy your kid? I'm actually the evil auntie. Oh, it's just you. Just to my brother's ex-wife. <sighs> Tell me more. Yeah. So she, um, I would make sure the present, like the toys, didn't have an off switch, and they were noisy, and wow. they've got two kids. Wow! So, and I only buy Christmas presents for them. So, on the day, it was the best. It doesn't Any have an day. off switch. Wow. Imagine no. you go to the toy store. So, what's the noisiest one that you can't ever turn off? Ah, uh, you're <laughs> Can I get two? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hey, Amanda. Hi. Oh, you are the worst human <laughs> being. What do you buy, Amanda? Earth, Amanda. <laughs> I know, and I love it. I buy my nieces and nephews slime. Oh, How good. You should get the ones with the glitter yeah. on them. They're even worse yeah, to get off, aren't they? Yeah, sure do. Yeah. Yeah. And the really big packs, like the multi-packs as well. So if they run out, they've always got more. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you have children yet, Amanda? 
I do actually. I'm the oldest, so I've got a lot, quite a few brothers and sisters. Yeah. So do they and not? My kids are like teenagers, and I've got one turning eighteen next week. So they're quite they're older, so they can't buy those sort of crap for my kids anymore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I buy it for my nieces and nephews instead. So every Christmas and 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 um, birthdays, two nieces in particular ask for slime every single present. Yeah. And so I buy it because you know you got to keep them happy. <laughs> I buy it the slime, <laughs> and every time my sister sits there watching her kids open the presents, and she just mouths to me, "I hate you." Big <laughs> <laughs> yeah. smile on my face. The kids love it, and I'm just like, "Yep, that's uh, what I do." I'm so happy we're out of the slime phase. The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby, and Matt. Hey, Chica, Brisbane's premier dining, cocktail, and late night venue located in the Valley Mall. If you're single, baby. You can find love on the beast, baby. Stab Abby and Matt. It's not happening. Singles party. Our singles party is happening very, very soon. Next Thursday. It is, it is, yes. So it's still not too late to come along if nope. you want to. B105.com.au uh, The whole idea of this is to get people off the apps. A lot of people have told us, hey, the apps suck. Mm-hmm. Um, people are just on there for one thing and one thing only. And the people at this party are going to be genuinely looking for love. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is, is your official first date. Ah, uh, yeah. Correct. So go and register now. But um, I was having a think about it uh, the other day. It came to me during a Taylor Swift song. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah. as, as many things do. <laughs> many things do. So what Taylor, comes to you during Taylor Swift song? I turned down the volume. Well, Taylor, <laughs> she's deep when she uses her lyrics, right? They yeah. tell the story. Mm-hmm. And I thought, how expensive is it to actually be single? You know, there's always people complaining mm. about having a partner and how expensive it is when you've got to share your money, blah, blah, blah. Mm. But 13, 10, 60, um, how expensive do you find it being single? Because one of her lyrics uh, where she's talking about um, going on dates and stuff, and yeah. it made me think. So when you're first dating, you know, and you're seeing all different people, mm-hmm. she's saying, you know, rather than go and have all of these dates, let's just get together and commit to each other. I thought to myself, how expensive is it to go on 300 coffee dates? <laughs> Well, and and people would be interested because even if they don't go on dates, people get a coffee every day. That's true. So how much are we up for? So let's talk about uh, the date. The average price of a small coffee, we're working up a small coffee okay, here, so yeah. it's probably going to be higher. The average price of a small coffee in Australia is $4.78. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, both of you are going to have coffee when you're there. That's mm-hmm. true. And this is not taking into account the blokes who need to grow up because they're having a milkshake. Oh, you're having a grand mocha. Oh, you know? my God. So this is just... Your latte. Yeah. Two of them is nine dollars and fifty eight cents together. Right. So you do that three hundred times, that's two thousand eight hundred and seventy four dollars. Are we splitting the bill? I'm just working off saying he's a gentleman. He okay. pays, right? right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. But however you split it, no one knows the percentage. If you're yeah. going for that many coffees, I reckon you're addicted to coffee, not dating. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, like yeah. I would I would change it up. But you gotta think if yeah. that's well. Here's what I've worked out from that. Yep. Those 300 coffees, let's say 30% of the time you say, you're not a psychopath. Let's go for a drink now and continue this conversation. Yeah. 30% of the time. Do that. Uh, 30% of 300 is 90 times that will happen. The average price of a beer in Australia, a schooner, is $8.74. Uh-huh. And a wine, $9. I know I'm just working on averages yep. here. Some people might have a cocktail. Do that 90 times at $17.74. That's $1,596.60. Wow. Okay? Yep. Yep. If you say this okay. is going really well, let's have two drinks, yep. that takes you to $3,193.20. So that means your 300 takeout coffees and your drinks, mm. and you're only on a first date, is $6,067.20. Yeah, you've went on 300 first dates. If you've gone 300 first dates in one year, you need to give up. So I'm not saying it's a year. Mm. It could be over okay. two years. But well, I'm then we'll still, have to I'm take in inflation. That's $6,000 I... and you're, you're not anywhere in that relationship. I hear what you're saying. You just pay for it. Yeah. It's cheaper. It is. Yeah. Well, no, the only thing I think expensive is dating is having to get clothes. Uh, that's the other and side it's of yeah. so women, yeah. Stupid. Mm-hmm. Because when you think of it, all you want to do is take them off. They what? haven't seen the clothes. No. So why are you getting new clothes to go on a date? But you do. Do you? Yes. Yeah, if your ex is there with someone else. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it's just so mm. dumb. And then if things are going well, then you sort of, you know, mm. get another outfit. And you don't need another outfit because he hasn't seen your wardrobe. Yeah. And then don't get me started on underwear. Oh, don't get a start. Well, you don't need Andre. underwear if you're going you, on a date. Yeah, well, you, you do. do. You Otherwise, need matching you look presumptuous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I took yeah. into account too the, that the, let's say, the underwear that your wife's wearing now is not what you wear when you're dating. No. Oh, I'm aware. The underwear has changed dramatically over the last <laughs> 18 years. Yeah. It was never beige. No. No. Uh, 40% of the time, I oh, would you say, stopped. Okay. <laughs> people would catch an Uber to the right. date. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. People would catch an Uber. Yeah. So that's 120 times. The average Uber price yeah. for one ride in Australia is $21. If you go both ways, that would be $5,040. That might lower down a little bit if it does go well on the second drink and Uh you probably just go to someone else's house and you stay there the night. So 300 takeout coffee dates Mm -hmm. would equal a minimum of $11,107.20. It is expensive for people to date these days. It is expensive. You know? Yeah. Also, you should stop listening to Taylor Swift. You really oh. should, because you're just making everyone feel depressed, because it's not just about people dating, it's about people actually enjoying a coffee every day or maybe hey. going for a beer and a wine together. That is the nice thing, because I didn't even get on to them. And it's an awkward blind date, so that would definitely be dinner, so that would be even more expensive. So I, I held that to myself. That is part okay. two for another day. The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. Need you guys' relationship advice? <laughs> Uh, if you wouldn't mind. Um, You're wrong. Yes, she's too uh, good for you. You were wrong. Not that advice. Thank you, though. Uh, <laughs> could you remember, Abs, when um, our um, last producer... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, producer before the producer producer? One, one of our producers. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I'm not sure if... I think you were here. Yeah, maybe. Peter. Yeah, Peter. Is that what you're talking about? Um, we, we, we're getting mentioned names. Okay, yeah, yep. Peter. No, she knew. We told her to her face. Because she um, did something drastic uh, to herself. Uh, and... Um, it, she cut her hair she short. She cut her hair short, right? But I, went, I said, nice haircut, and went about my day. And then about two weeks later, I found out that she'd broken up with her partner. Mm. And I said to her, I can't believe you broke up. Why didn't you tell me? And she said, are you kidding? I got my hair cut. She got it cut real short. Yeah. From really long. Yeah. Yeah, which when <laughs> girls are going through like a breakup, it's like you, you cut your hair. Mm. Hair is symbolical for a transformation. Right. That's why when I shaved my hair, people mm. were like, oh, my God, how'd you go? Yeah. And I remember someone who was going through um, cancer mm. came up and was like, why did you do that? And I was like, well, because I'm raising money for the Leukemia Foundation. She goes, mm. do you know what? Mm. That was the hardest part of my treatment. I was like, yeah. no, it wasn't. She goes, don't tell me what it was. I was like, all right, yeah. no worries. Yeah. Yeah, good point. She's <laughs> like, but that was just a huge thing for me yeah. is losing my hair. Because mm. it, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so it might happened. be part of their identity. So me and Rose went down the coast uh, on Friday. We went down to the Tweed to visit my mate Danny Boy and a couple of the other high school boys. And then, because um, Kat had a gig uh, at the Paddo on Friday night, so she couldn't come down. Uh, but then she came down on Saturday afternoon. And when she got there, she has long curly hair. When she got there on Saturday morning, she had short back and sides. Not short hair. back and sides. She's got really short. And then she got shaved on one side? Yeah. It is Pride Month, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Thanks for your help, everybody. Did she come with her girlfriend? Is that what happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, still waiting for that dream to come to fruition. Well, um, no, yeah, that's it. That would be disappointing. Uh, like, are, we sta- are we going to stay married through that? <laughs> yeah. Just so you know, that's when you're not involved. Uh, yeah, I'm turning okay. you down yeah, now. Yeah. You're ruining yeah. it. Don't ruin it. Oh, that's so exciting. You and your girlfriend. Yeah, move out, Stav, and never call us again. <laughs> hey, um, so is she going through anything or she just decided to? I didn't ask. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to know. What was her no. thinking behind it? Because no. I love a transformation. Uh, but it, so it, it is that drastic of a, of a transformation. Well, not just that. It's mm. colour. Mm. You notice the colour, right? Because she was... There's no colour. Red. Well, no, she's got dark. It's got, uh, yeah. It was red. No, yeah, it had pink in it. Yeah. But there's no colour in it now. Can That's I see a I mean. photo? Yeah. Um, what, have you done anything recently that could have upset her? Oh, that pro- would, probably. She has dyed it darker, stuff. Cool. Yeah, well, you said it was no colour. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. a big transformation because it's a lot darker as well. It's like when people dye their hair red and they're like, just, you know. It looks nice on her. Yeah, she goes over to one side. Mm. She didn't give you any reason of why she wanted to do it. She said, I'm thinking about it for a while. So singles party is going to be a completely <laughs> different story. Uh, How do you reckon you're going to go? Thursday. Terrible, but... Uh... <laughs> she'll be there. She'll go well. <laughs> You'll look over and she'll go, oh, I was crying in the corner. Oh, my God. That's story we, of my life. That's how we met. <laughs> <laughs> no, she went to the, the hairdressers and um, the, the, the uh, all the colouring has made her hair was all breaking. Oh, her yeah, because she's going too light. Breaking. That's good then. That makes sense. Mm. Yeah, mm. Good, she's good gone color. for health. <laughs> yeah. So they said, look, it's all breaking off uh, and um, maybe you should with your partner as well. See, I like to do a little bit of a game. I don't know if anyone's willing to call up and they tell us the hairstyle that they've got. 
drastic change and we'll see if we can guess what their lifestyle change is. Oh, like the, oh, If they're like, yeah. I just got bangs and we'll go, oh, okay. Uh. A friend of yours got it and she looked hot. <laughs> Sounds like you're the only one that's going to be able to play this game, but I'm up for it. Uh, uh. So true, they always say be careful not to have your eyebrows raised when you're getting your hair cut with bangs, because then when you relax your face, your your hairline's higher. Yeah, than it's meant to be. yeah. What, what is? I actually got. Um, I decided to do my own um, before this photo shoot. Dumbest thing ever. So I was cutting bangs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we'd been at the pub. And I cut it, and the next day I was putting on mascara, and I was like, oh, <gasps> cut my eyelashes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, actually, can you give me my phone back? I don't want you messing with my Tinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> Newly single. Yeah. Um, she looks great. Just, just want to get back out in there. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I love it. She's, she's still getting used to it, but I think it looks fantastic. When's the last time you did a big hair transformation, Ashley? When I moved here, oh, that's right. I bleached my hair blonde, like full blonde bleach. Yeah, because you weren't single, but your partner wasn't here. You just wanted a bit of a change. Yeah, I did want to change. So, yeah, I was just living my best Brisbane life, and then um, I changed it back to more natural. If mm. girls change their hair at a breakup, what do guys do? What do we do to You decide to go old? to the gym and improve yourself how she'd been asking you to before. No. Oh, yeah. That doesn't sound like it was his fault at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is true, though. You know when you see that guys start yeah, going to the gym? I guess so. Yeah. Oh, God, we've yeah. been on the rocks for ages then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I dropped your phone there. Come Sorry. On, Sorry. I don't know. What do you Sorry. do during a breakup then? Jace, what do you do during a breakup? I'm asking him because he's, he's, had, up more he's actually had breakups. Um, uh, Move on. <laughs> That's what you do? <laughs> yeah, I don't really go through like a big transformational what thing. Did, did I always go to the gym, so I don't really... Yeah. That. I don't know. Mm. See, I've been with Esther for so long. We had some breakups there, but I never changed. I just cry for a little bit and then get over it. Mm. Mm. We would change if It's so easy. Half our salary to our partners. <laughs> that would be that does big... help now. Yeah, 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 yeah. that happens. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you cry, you eat, Sleep and repeat. Yeah. <laughs> you guys haven't really gone through a big breakup, though. No, have you? not a there big, big breakup. No. no. We're perfect. No. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> the B105 <laughs> Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby, and Matt. Little moments become big memories at Rackley Swimming. Book your learn to swim lessons today. $10,000, that is the prize, and it is going to go to a school right here in Brisbane. Uh, we're going to get our top 10 together, and then we're going to have some playoffs. At the moment, Eaton's Hill State School is uh, top of the leaderboard. Although yeah. you forgot the most important part. $1,000 goes to the student who wins as well. Of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we have uh, today, uh, we're going to Polaris State School. Let's start by saying... Good, good morning, morning, Miss Neal. Good morning, students. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell us a little bit about the school. How many kids you got there? Are they all good kids? Oh, we have an amazing almost 1,300 students wow. here at Black State School across grades prep through to grade six. Oh, that's good. Wow. There's, a, there's always one or two, Stav. Yeah, know, but what that, is she going to do? That, name them and say yes. <laughs> Baby Gary's not no, good. I don't know. No. Try to think of a name that they don't no. have there. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what, all what, amazing. What does the school need? What would you guys spend the ten thousand dollars on? So we have a environmental program mm. that we run. Um, all of our students get to participate in lessons across the year. Um, so we'd probably put it towards um, that sustainability project that we have here at our school. Great. And Maverick. If you win, what would you spend $1,000 on? Toys. 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 Yes. How, how old are you, Maverick? Seven. 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 Amazing. And what do you want to be when you grow up? Police officer. Oh, police officer. We always need more of them. Good for we you. Do. Okay. All right. You know how Remember this Remember our names, Maverick, yes. so we don't get in trouble, okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, as we're in the battle of the pa- paddy play. wagon. <laughs> like, remember we let you play yeah. Alpha Bucks? All right, how'd you get? Yeah. How'd you get stabbed? Sorry about that, mate. How'd you get, you eight-year-old? All right, you know how this works. Arnie Abbey's going to give you a letter. Every answer has to start with that letter. Say pass if you don't know, and you can only accept each answer once, okay? Okay. All right, okay, good luck. your letter is F for football. Are you ready? Here's the first question. Yeah. All right, Here we go. first question. Name something birds do. Fly. Somewhere a cow lives. Oh. Something that's hot to touch. Same. Something in the kitchen. Food. An animal that hops. 
Uh, a part of your body? Fingers. Someone you love? Family. Something that lives in the ocean? Oh, oh, oh you got five. five. Did we get five? Yeah, we, we got, got five. five. Good Which job. Puts you equal third on the leaderboard there, Maverick. Well done. You are on the leaderboard. Congratulations, my friend. Okay. 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 <laughs> That's a sort of cool, calm, collected you want in a police officer. I love it. Good job. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, Miss Neil, thank you so much for being part of our Alpha Buck Schools with us this morning. You're very welcome. It's been a pleasure. All right, good stuff. Uh, and hopefully you guys do well when we get to the finals. Um, of course, $10,000 on the line for the school. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's not too late to enter as well. Just go to B105 win page. Yeah, we play every Tuesday and Thursday. Get involved now. Little moments become big memories at Rackley Swimming. Book your Learn to Swim lessons today. It is Stav, Abby and Matt here at B105. The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. Alpha Box. It is uh, tomorrow, the 11th of June. Uh, when we're live, here are three answers for the 7 and 8 a.m. game. 7 a.m., your letter is T, and some of your answers are Tank, TikTok, and Titanic. And at 8 a.m., it's D, and some of your answers are Dodgeball, which they're making a sequel to. Really? Dustin Hoffman and Didgeridoo. Right up. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Stab, Abby, and Matt, the B105 Breakfast Show.